Hello YouTube, how's everyone doing? It's Professional here. So today I want to talk about a ridiculous story that I read a few days ago. And this happened, this happened about a week ago. And you guys won't believe how ridiculous this story is. But this concerns a YouTuber, uh, she is called Anne Munition. I will link her Twitter and her channel down below also. I, I have not heard of her before, but this article that I came across was just so ridiculous, I couldn't believe what actually happened. And this goes into a broader issue, not just about this this specific case, but just about copyright in general, and when is a claim, a copyright claim, actually a legitimate claim, and not something false. Now, you read the title correctly. She had two of her videos copyrighted over the numbers 36 and 50. 36 and 50. And I'll put her tweet up here uh, on the screen, but you see, did you guys know you can copyright the number 36 as a copyright owner using content ID claim some material in your video? This is not a copyright strike. This claim does not affect your account status. There are ad either ads running on your video with the revenue going to the copyright owner or the copyright owners receiving stats about your video's views. And it says right there, video titled The Witcher 3. So she was playing The Witcher 3, copyrighted content, not the number 36 by full screen ink. 36? How can you possibly copyright somebody based on the number 36? That makes no sense. You're going to copyright somebody on numbers? That's just so stupid. And you take a look at this. She also made a second tweet, and it says that number 50 was also claimed as copyrighted material. And it says right there, video cannot be monetized, ad revenue paid to the copyright owner. And what this basically means is that her videos are still running ads, but that revenue is not going to her. The work that she put into that video, she's not getting credit for her own video. Instead, the revenue is now going to the people that made this ridiculous claim, number 36 and 50. How can something like this happen? That the number 36 and 50, what's next? You know, what's next? That names are going to be copyrighted now? If numbers can be copyrighted, what's next? Names? My name is Patrick. If I say my name Patrick, is that going to be, I got to get a copyright claim on my own videos just for saying, just for saying my own name? And you, you look at this and you say, oh, this is just one incident, just one bad thing that happened. No, this is not just one specific incident. This, this seems really stupid, and it is, but there are other incidents that happened. It has happened to me as well. You take a look at some copyright claims. This was from, um, this was from about a month ago, month and a half ago. And this is when I got some copyright claims from Illustrated Sound Music. They copyright claimed a bunch of my videos falsely. And look at some of the stuff that they copyrighted. YouTube video feed? How does that make, how, how does that make sense? What are they copywriting specifically? And this is the problem, is that there's two people that are at fault here. There is YouTube, and there is also these copyright, these people that are making these false copyright claims. And oftentimes, these are music companies like, you know, UMG, Universal Music Group. This is one of the worst companies that does it. Universal Music Group, they made a 11 second copyright claim on my 11 hour video. It was a Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order video. And even I streamed, I streamed earlier in this week, I streamed Star Wars Battlefront 2. And UMG made other copyright claims against me right here. Take a look at this right here. You see me clicking on this, scrolling through this. And this is from a Star Wars game. There was some Star Wars music in the background on this, but it's from me streaming Star Wars Battlefront 2. And my question is, how are you supposed to play a Star Wars game without getting Star Wars copyright claims? How, how are you supposed to play that? Because sure, I could mute the audio, but you know, that would, that would just be stupid. That would just be stupid. And in a lot of video games that you play, even when you mute the music, if you go in the settings, and you mute the music, music will still play in cutscenes in a lot of video games that you play. People play those games, and then they get false copyright claims based on that. And sometimes it's so ridiculous, sometimes it's based on just a few seconds of material. You know, somebody told me on, somebody told me on my stream that they had got, their friend had gotten a copyright claim for their dog barking in the background. I don't know if that's true or not, but I wouldn't be surprised. I would not be surprised. If, so, if something like that happened, because these claims have just gotten so ridiculous, and they have gotten so stupid, and, you know, people say, there's some people that say, oh, it's not the copyright um, holder's fault, it's YouTube's fault for having this content ID system. But let me, let me ask those people that, the people, the people that say that it's not the copyright holder's fault, and it's both, in my opinion, it's both, it's a combination of both YouTube and the copyright holder's fault. 
let me ask this then. If there is this broken content ID system that YouTube has, this automatic bot system, and these companies are taking revenue from these creators, these companies would come out and say, hey, you know, YouTube, your thing is falsely flagging people's content, even though it's saying that it's our content. This is not copyright material. These companies aren't doing that. These companies are going along with that broken content ID thing, that automatic bot system, and they are taking advantage of it. They are stealing money from these creators and they're extorting them. And UMG are one of the worst people that do this. There's other companies that do it, but UMG are one of the worst companies. These music companies, they actively engage in it, they do it, and they take advantage of it. And the thing is, though, is like I said before, you can dispute copyright claims, but when you dispute a copyright claim, do you know who's the one that reviews it? You know who it is? The same person that made that copyright cl claim against you. So UMG makes a copyright claim against me. I dispute it. UMG reviews it. And UMG is oftentimes going to say no. And that's the thing is, even when these copyright claims are so ridiculous, like the numbers 36 and 50, I don't know what happened here. I really hope that her video got released. I wasn't able to find any more information on what happened later on with that. So if anybody has any more information, let me know in the comments. But hopefully her videos got released that it's not that this claim hasn't stayed there. But oftentimes when you fight back against these copyright claims, the copyright holder, that person that's making the claim against you says, nope, we're keeping the original claim. And then a sec and then you can dispute it a second time. At that point, I believe it goes to YouTube. But if YouTube doesn't agree with you, you get a copyright strike. Three copyright strikes, your channel is deleted. And even with one copyright strike, that's still really bad because you have features disabled on your channel. So that's not good. And this is why a lot of creators don't fight back against this because they're scared. Even if they know that they're 100% in the right, they're scared that if YouTube does not agree with them, that their channels are going to get in major trouble. And that's why oh, they give in and these companies just take advantage of the situation and just exploit people like this. It happens all the time. It's absolutely disgusting, but it's unfortunate it's been happening. And my question is, I've been saying this for months, why is there no punishment for these companies for doing something like this? If I dispute a claim and I dispute it two times, I get a copyright strike on my channel. But if they make a ridiculous nonsense crap claim like this, excuse my language, if they make a crap claim like this on somebody's video and then somebody disputes it and then YouTube agrees with it, guess what? That's it. It's over. The copyright holder, they just release the video, but then YouTube is like, oh, it's okay. It's okay. You made a mistake. That's what they're like. But then you make a dispute and they don't agree. No, 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 no. You get a copyright strike. Why is there no punishment? Because I'll tell you something. If these, these greedy, scummy companies... If they had to actually pay creators money, if they had to create, if they had to pay creators, for example, double, let's say they had to pay double the amount of money from that revenue from that video that they stole, they had to pay them that as punishment or something like that, guarantee you a lot of this stuff would stop. If they got their copyright claims revoked easily for making false copyright claims like this, this stuff would stop. If there was a punishment for these companies, there needs to be a punishment, there needs to be accountability because somebody can't just go on here and just flag a bunch of videos, say copyright, 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 all this stuff is mine, number 36 and 50, like in this case, which is just so stupid, and just start taking the revenue from that. That is just greedy and that's, that's, that's extortion. You could argue that that's pretty much extortion at this point. Somebody coming in, claiming something that's not theirs and just taking your money. That's that's exact that's exactly what they're doing. There needs to be help, better accountability. There needs to be something done about this. And if the creator is going to get punished for making these claims, then the copyright holder should as well. And another thing is, why is the burden of proof always on the creator? I don't understand that. Now, for people that don't know a burden of proof is, burden of proof is when you have an obligation to prove something. If you are making a claim against somebody, let's say for instance that you know a prosecutor in court is making a claim against somebody saying that this guy committed a crime. The pro burden of proof is on that prosecutor to prove with evidence that that person committed a crime and that that person is guilty. But here, it's you're guilty until you're proven innocent. In this case, basically, we have the opposite where a company can just make a ridiculous claim saying this stuff is mine, no questions asked, and now me as the creator, I have to prove that my own videos and my own content is mine, and that I didn't copyright anything, I didn't take anything, that is 
nonsense. If they're going to make a claim saying that this stuff is ours and you're falsely taking it, okay, but prove it. Nobody, almost nobody supports stealing copyright material. If somebody's stealing copyright material, they should be punished for that. But you can't just be making ridiculous claims like this. The burden of proof should be on the copyright holder. Prove where this person has been taking copyright material. And their videos should not be getting demonetized and the revenue should not be going to that copyright claimant unless they can prove that that person had stolen their material. If they can prove that that person has stolen the material, then go ahead. But why are creators having their videos demonetized, revenue going right to the copyright claimant? And even if the revenue is returned, because when these claims are resolved, the revenue is meant to go back to the creator, that first 24 to 48 hours is what's very important for a creator, and that's when their video is going to grow the most. And if you have some company that's coming in there and just taking over that video, that's really messed up. And until this changes, you're going to have problems like this for many, many more months and possibly even years. This copyright issue has been going on for so long. I've made multiple videos talking about it, but it's just disgusting. It's just disgusting. And I'm just sick of just companies taking advantage of this situation like this. But just let me know what you guys think down below of this. What do you think of this? And I mean, what's next? Are names going to get copyrighted, like I said? But let me know what you guys think of this. And if you guys enjoyed the video, drop a like. If you're new to my channel, enjoy my content, subscribe. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Take care, everyone.